Boom. We'll get that in. Let's continue on with the show. Bitcoin shows signs of bottoming out after nine weeks of losses. This is obviously positive news to a certain extent. The $29,500 level is acting as a major support for the world's largest cryptocurrency. Bitcoin added 5.6% 5 in the last 24 hours to rise over 30,000 US dollars during Asian trading hours on Monday in a brief show of strength amid a record losing strength streak data shows. The asset has slid for nine straight weeks for the first time in its history, falling from the $48,160 level in late March to last week's close of $29,600. The drop came alongside inflation concerns in the broader economy, a move away from the risk assets and systemic risk from within the crypto industry. Price charts suggest Bitcoin saw strong support at $29,000 mark, a level that has been tested several times in the past weeks. Closing below this level could mean that the cryptocurrency could drop to its 2017 high of nearly $20,000 charts show. Resistance at $30,500 $30, continues to exist. However, however, and a daily close above that level would, sh would show strong signs of recovery. Readings on the Relative Strength Index, the RSI, a tool used by traders to calculate the magnitude of an asset's price move, sorry, we read these definitions all the time, uh, have fallen to nearly 30, suggesting signs of bottoming out. Short-term buyers could add the, to this week's momentum. Se uh, sentiment data from last week already suggests the market may be headed for higher prices in the coming weeks. Some analysts have said that investors would continue to assess price action before deploying capital. Quote, U.S. markets saw a modest revival last week with stock rising Stocks rising across the board, end quote, Simon Peters, market analyst at eToro, said in an email. Although crypto didn't see quite the same revival, prices have now been holding steady in major cryptos such as Bitcoin, suggesting a calm of sorts before any fresh commitment to the market is made by large players. It also could be a calm before the storm. Now, the storm could go up. But I'm feeling this, the calm, the storm going down. But that, that's just me, not financial advice. Monday's run comes on the back of a bump in Asian equities amid reports that major Chinese cities have started to cease coronavirus restrictions after months of strict lockdowns. Traders laid bets that the reopening that reopening the economy could spark an increase in consumer spending, which would increase company revenues in the coming weeks and could indicate a bottom for stocks in the region. The Asia Dow index rose 2.15% while Hong Kong's Hang Seng's index, ooh, I think I botched that one, but we'll, we'll flow with it, added 2.06% on Monday. Japanese Nikkei 225 bumped 2.19% and European in, uh, in indexes, indices, such as stock stocks 600 and DAX, added at least 0.82% since Monday start. Futures in the U.S. rose as NASDAQ 100 jumped 1.44%, while the S&P 500 added 1.08%. However, some analysts say recovery in Bitcoin could take longer than expected. Quote, it will be, a, it will be premature to talk about a bullish counteroffensive until Bitcoin gets above $30,600. It's at $30,569 right now. Pretty funny. It's her uh, horizontal resistance line since mid-May, explained Alex, FX Pro Senior Market Analyst. Renewed risk appetite in global markets is fueling hopes of a turnaround. Divergence in equity and cryptocurrency dynamics was uh, conspicuous last week, highlighting the weakness of the crypto market, he continued. Now, obviously, the impact of the market has been significant on cryptocurrency, especially Bitcoin, a lot more than we originally anticipated. However, it is important to note that we do still have to worry about the super cycle for Bitcoin and that this will definitely affect it. While more institutional money comes into Bitcoin as a risk off asset, which is apparently what it's starting to be classified as, especially 
from all the articles we read about it last week with the JP Morgan stuff and all of that, right? It does appear that for the most part, it's starting to be considered a risk off asset. And if it's treated as such a bear market due to the super cycle will have an effect on that to a certain extent, a bull run, an expected bull run, a huge one wouldn't really be expected from me until, like I said, like December of 2024, probably closer to like March or April of 2025, given some time for the having to take effect and affect the profitability and the revenue that the miners generate, which then in turn spurs off this kind of increase in price. But other things that could affect that to a certain extent that may throw this completely out the window is the increase in electricity costs and the access to power for miners. And due to the way the economy is functioning right now, I think it would be a miss to not mention the increase in price of power is significantly across the board, even though, of course, a lot of miners are moving to renewables it still affects their bottom line for the upgrade costs to renewables and the general going price of electricity just globally will affect, of course, the pricing of cryptocurrency too. Will it affect it to the extent of the halving or so on? Uh, that's yet to be seen, I suppose, but it does, of course, affect it to a certain extent uh, at some point, right? because miners can't sell at a complete loss. And the, de the dependence is uh, on basically how long can the miners hold on to that cryptocurrency before needing to uh, liquidate it for covering costs. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.